Residents of Marawi may soon start rebuilding their homes as the task force Bangon Marawi has started demolishing damaged structures in Ground Zero. But some parts remain off limits as authorities continue to look for unexploded bombs. Here's the report. Demolition of houses and buildings in Marawi City's Ground Zero has started. Almost two years after the Maute Terror Group seized the city back in May 2017. For residents, it's a sign of hope as they can now start rebuilding their dreams from the rubble. The task force Bangun Marawi tells residents that they only need to get a permit from the agency, then sign a consent form, and the task force will clear the area. Yung may ari ng mga buildings ay pumapayag at willingly, they are allowing uh, the government, the FBM, na sila yung matulungan para ma maklear yung mga buildings na damaged na ang structures. This will be completed by November 30 of 2019. The agency promises that the first batch of residents can return to Sector 1 of Ground Zero in July to start repairing their homes and properties. Authorities, however, warned that some areas in Ground Zero are still off limits as they're still busy clearing up the debris and unexploded bombs. These areas are cordoned off until August. With regards to uh, debris management, is the clearing of unexploded explosives and ordnances. Out of the 70 powerful bombs from 110 pounds, uh, 260 pounds, and 500 pounds bombs, ay meron pa pong naiiwan na 49. Ang isa pong uh, 500 pounder, pag sumabog where we stand, it will extend 650 meters all around. The task force assured residents that the Maute Group's other ordinances were stored far from Marawi. The AFP confirmed over the weekend that DNA tests have proven that it was Maute leader Abu Dahar, whom soldiers have killed in an encounter in Lanao del Sur. Totoo po yun na meron tayong mga uh, na-encounter na mga members ng uh, Maute ISIS. These are the remnants of the group that came here to this uh, most affected area at nakita nyo naman yung resulta ng ginawa nilang pag-atake uh, dito. No? So we, are, we were running after the group and uh, fortunately meron po tayo mga na-neutralize dun sa grupo nila. Among them uh, is uh, the uh, leader of the group. No? We believe that he is the uh, leader of the group, si Abu Dhar. Meanwhile, authorities are now sorting the list of beneficiaries through the biometric system. This is to make sure that the government's 30 to 53,000 pesos worth of subsidies will be given to qualified families. From a high of 78,000 uh, families, we are now down to 36,000 as of today. So meaning to say, yung sinasabi dati na 78,000 ay masyadong bloated figure to ensure that only credible residents will be profiled. Yung pong nananakot, napapatayin yung mga tao natin, ito po yung mga hindi qualified. For now, the National Housing Authority has turned over 1,500 transition homes in Barangay Buganga to evacuees. Okay lang. Masaya. Ma may bahay na ako ngayon. Maganda kasi ma ano, ma maganda yung mga bahay na inibigay nila sa amin. The NHA is targeting to complete the housing project by the end of the year.